about two years ago, I built the setup of my dreams. And here's what it looks like today. <laughs> There's even an oven down here. So in this video, we're gonna be transforming my setup without spending a single dollar. I already spent it all to get the setup. I started out with just putting things away and getting rid of some useless clutter. Since this was gonna be a lot of work, I need to figure out the main issues with my setup so I could see where to start. Right off the bat, there were some pretty obvious problems. For starters, my PC, peripherals, and mouse pad have not been cleaned in years. I need to do some major deep cleaning for the setup to get back to where it started. Next, my cable management was impressively bad. Like, what is this even holding? Also, my LEDs were too dusty and couldn't stick to my monitors anymore. And finally, just because I love making my life difficult, I'm challenging myself to come up with a way to make my setup feel brand new. Since I can't spend any more money, I'm a little nervous on how this one's gonna go. Now that we had our goals, it was time to get to work. I started with tossing my desk mat in the washing machine. Then I set up a little dish soap bath for my keycaps. Quick little pause to appreciate the handmade artisans. I love them a lot and they're available on my Etsy if you'd like one yourself. While those were getting cleaned, I brushed the dust and crumbs out of my keyboard and got to work on cleaning my PC. I didn't have any canned air, so I just did the best I could with wiping all the parts down. I set everything aside and then moved on to phase two. Cable management, oh man. To me, cable management was just all shove and no organizing, so that's exactly what I was gonna do. It's, it's pretty rough down here, there's a lot. And I might get a new Mac, cause I feel like this has gotten really gross over the years. It's got a lot of clay stuck on it. Yeah, that's what we're working with. My next major issue was my LEDs. The tape on them was super dusty and pretty much unusable. I considered just throwing them out, but before that I decided to try and get the current adhesive off so I can replace it with a new one. Then I got an idea. Okay, so I'm in the garage and I found some double-sided tape for the LEDs and I came over here and I saw there's a bunch of spray paint and I think this might be sick on my monitors maybe. I could spray paint them. I just gotta see if I can get the actual frame thing off. And if I can, this should be pretty easy and it'd give a pretty good new vibe to the setup. So well, let's try that out. So I gave up on fixing cables for the moment and got to work on taking apart my monitors. This actually was much easier than I thought. I literally just had to take out eight screws and the whole frame popped off. <gasps> Wait, it took me off really easily. Wait, is the screen gonna fall out if I... No, okay. It's off! You guys rocking with my... with my Crocs? Oh my god, we have to move, it's raining. I was so happy with how spray painting went, it genuinely felt like it was a brand new bonder. Considering how easy it was and how much changed the whole setup, it was very much worth it. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Look at this. All right, time for monitor three. I repeated the process for my third monitor and wanted to show some close-ups to keep it completely real. Obviously, there's a few bumps and scratches, but from far away, it was hardly noticeable. Now, I want to switch the position of this stand and the single stand because I kind of want to try and see what it would look like if I turned on my monitor sideways. I feel like it might open up some space. It's a lot of work, but we're getting there. Now that all the parts are cleaned and ready to go, it was time to put it all together. 
I spent some time playing around with the layout of my monitors to get a new feel for my setup and ended up rotating one to be vertical. Alright, we're pushing through. Here's where I'm at. Got the monitor set up. They're all plugged in. I have this camera laying around. I think I'm gonna set that up right there. Update. We got the camera set up. It's a little annoying because there's wires going down the side, but something really I could do about that. See, there's no wires. And, and, and. Well, this is a terrible angle, but there's no wire. There's one right there because I have to plug it in to something. But pretty much no wires. So that's huge. Oh my gosh. I think I'm losing my mind. I've been doing this for like eight hours straight. I'm definitely losing my mind. Okay, I don't know what's next. Oh my god, pause. Is that the Stellix Studio Dawn Dusk Desmet in purple designed by Stellix herself? Yes. Yes it is. And it's available on Etsy along with five other colors so you can find the perfect match for your setup. Link in the description and now back to the video. I put my keyboard together and plugged everything back in to see if it all worked. <gasps> I forgot to record! I'm gonna just start it up and everything for nothing. She's working, we just gotta fix that monitor. So let's try again. We're good, I just forgot to plug her in. Whoops. Then we were finally on the very last step. I fixed my LEDs with the double side tape and added some new lighting that I had laying around. I added the fixed LEDs back on, and guys, I do not think you're ready for this review. Really quickly, here's what we started with, and with a budget of zero dollars, here's what we made. So yeah, it's a really big improvement, and we did all of this without spending a single dollar, so I'm really proud. Obviously, I already had a lot of stuff to begin with, but that's not to say that a little cleaning takes it to a whole new level. If you've watched till the end, thank you so, so much. I appreciate it more than you'll ever know. I really hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!